How you doing guys? Um, really quick before I start the video, um, I have been sick for the last five days so I wasn't able to make any uh, videos since Sunday but uh, except for today I'm feeling much better so uh, sorry about that. Um, so we're gonna take a look at new version of Color Finale and Color Finale Pro version um, uh, 173 and um, a couple of new features are has been added is the HSL curves. Um, you can now export LUTs from within Color Finale to use in other editors that support it. And then uh, they added some more cameras for the ACES color scheme and uh, we're going to see that in, uh, right now. And uh, we happen to have uh, color or Final Cut Pro 10 up and running. Oops, click on it right here. And then we're simply going to drag that to the uh, timeline. Okay, HL, uh, HSL curves are, is a new tab on the uh, top left hand side and um, basically you can uh, do this in uh, five different ways. Uh, hue versus hue, uh, hue versus saturation, lumina, uh, luminance, and saturation versus saturation I think. And you simply do that by uh, control clicking uh, on the area that you want to affect. Um, we're going to cho uh, choose the green and we're actually going to desaturate some of that grass to make it look uh, a little bit like late fall. A little bit just like that. You'll see it up here. I just happen to pick the green color. And also you can click multiple points so you can um, pinpoint exact color or move it into other colors which I'm going to show you now and then you can just simply move the uh, that one tab and uh, be a little bit more accurate or you can actually move them out and uh, affect multiple colors into that one um, so that's one of the biggest features uh, with 173 version um, also, you can now export those as LUTs and you simply click on export as LUT and you simply uh, name and save uh, where you want to in your browser, file browser. Um, also what's new is if you go to, if you have the pro version, um, you're going to go to the gear and select enable color management which is uh, new for the ACES. Uh, I'll show you that really quick for you guys that don't know which is Academy Color Encoding System which is really cool because you can actually any camera that supports the uh, the ACES you can uh, easily match up different cameras quite uh, transparently and it works really well and I've been uh, really excited with this and let me click that back on there so what they actually add is uh, for more cameras specifically the Canon uh, C300 Mark II. This should work with the um, Mark I version of the C300. Um, I'm actually waiting for my old camera which is the uh, Mark I C100 which does have an IDT. You have to have one for it to work with your camera. And um, I actually called the um, developers and they're saying they're actually waiting for more developers um, to be able to input more cameras into it which they finally done here. So I'm really excited once uh, my own camera is going to be supported too. And, and perhaps even this, uh, well, I doubt if they're going to do the XF100, but we'll see. Primarily the uh, cinema type cameras and DSLRs. Um, uh, another thing that's been fixed as well um, is the color wheels. Um, to do color balancing and so far, uh, they're much more smoother. Uh, I noticed before on the previous versions, You'd actually, I'd have to click on it a couple of times to get it to even move. Here, uh, you just click and drag, it'll work the first time. It's a little bit more smoother. So uh, they've done some work in the coding for that. So that's some of the uh, new features and bug fixes within Color Finale and Color Finale Pro version 173. And uh, thank you for watching.